Hey, it's Joseph here. I realize it's been a while since I've done a video coverage on Enscape. Recently, the version 4.1 and 4.2 were released and they included quite a few useful features such as Chaos AI Enhancer, Artistic Visual Modes, Color Shadows, Enscape Impact, Revit Graphics Override, Software Ray Tracing Improvements, Multiple Section Planes, and more. It's quite a lot. Whilst the other features are quite self-explanatory, I think Enscape Impact may be a bit more challenging to wrap your head around. But I think this is going to be quite a useful tool for architects and folks who need quick environmental and building performance analysis. So I'm glad that Chaos decided to sponsor this video for me to further explain what it is, what it does, and how to use Enscape Impact. Ever since I was introduced to Enscape, I have been using Enscape as my main rendering tool as it is just so darn easy to use. Its deep integration with 3D modeling software such as Revit and SketchUp, it allowed me to focus on designing rather than putting time into making pretty pictures. With a single button click, I can have the rendering up on the side of the model. And the changes that I make on the model are immediately reflected onto the rendering. Because me and my client can visually see the drawing changes or the model changes, we can make informed decisions quickly rather than going back and forth. With Enscape Impact, the same theme has been continued. With the single button, you can enable the Impact window or Impact dialog, then provide three basic project information under the Settings tab. The project's location, building type, and the year that the building was built or to be built. I suppose any designer should really know those information, if not by heart. After a bit of processing time, you can go back to the dashboard, then the analysis of the model is now displayed. The peak load shows the most amount of energy used during the year, and the total carbon emission shows the average of carbon emissions per year. Energy use intensity shows the amount of energy used per area, the square meter. The breakdown of different uses of energy is also shown on the energy end use. Furthermore, you can set the false color to visualize the data. You can select and visualize the peak loads, heating energy, cooling energy, and solar gains. As your model becomes somewhat transparent, you'll be able to see the different areas and their colors through the space, visualizing just as we are used to. As we make changes to the model, the calculation and the visual model will change. This way you can study the impact of different designs in your project. Now, how is all of this useful for my overall workflow? We've been enjoying Enscape's capability of easy rendering and quick visual feedback. And we can now have the tool to gain insights and visuals of the sustainable design. For seasoned architects and designers who designs with sustainability in mind, it is no news that we often have to create a separate model to run building performance analysis. And this may involve expensive third-party consultants and lengthy processes that can take a very long time. By the time we get a meaningful results, the data, the designs may have moved on for other reasons than sustainability. Then we have to do all the same exercise all over again. Whereas with Enscape Impact, you can use your working model and run the analysis yourself and try a bunch of different designs. You can extend your building or even increase the height of the building to see if your peak loads actually change. By the way, you can also cut sections to see things inside a bit better. On the surface, this may seem like Enscape Impact is not doing much, but there's quite a lot of stuff that is going under the hood. Additionally, unless we understand how these numbers are kind of put together and calculated, we just can't really trust these numbers, can we? First of all, Enscape Impact was developed in partnership with a global climate tech company called IES. IES is a leading global climate tech company delivering innovative technology solutions. They have over 30 years of experience in providing consultancy services to make the built environment with less carbon uses. Since they have the largest building physics analytics team in the world, they are really considered as a golden standard when it comes to the sustainable analysis. Because Enscape is great at interpreting information for all buildings, 
It identifies the building elements such as floors, walls, ceilings, and volume of space. And the geographical information and the orientation of the building is provided by the CAD software or wherever you have modeled it. And all of these information is processed through the IES's Apache engine, which is a whole building energy simulation engine. And all of these information is processed and it is tossed back to the Enscape to display the information on the dashboard along with the visual information. Because IES's Apache engine is capable of producing so many other data such as daylight analysis and comfort studies, I understand that those are also on the roadworks to be developed and integrated into Enscape Impact. By the way, IES and Chaos have explained under the hood operation on a webinar much more in depth than I could ever do. So I'll leave its link in the description for you to check that out. So something we have to understand is the fact that Enscape Impact is still quite an early phase. Therefore, there are some improvements and features left to be desired. I use the magic of editing, but the overall speed of process or the analysis can be improved or faster. And we can certainly benefit from more in-depth analytics and information such as aforementioned daylight studies and comfort analysis. And maybe the ability to export some files or information for other experts to process things further. So we can perhaps expect greater things later on. And if you have any specific requests or feedback, be sure to submit them to Chaos Team to implement. All in all, I think Enscape Impact has a huge edge over other sustainable analysis and building performance tools. Because we, the architects and designers, are already using Enscape, Enscape Impact is just one button click away. Yes, since the official Enscape Impact release on October 29th, users will now have to purchase an additional license, but it'll be discounted at 250 US dollars for a limited amount of time. And the general base price is very affordable compared to other building performance tools as it is only 360 US dollars. Additionally, because Enscape Impact is for all 3D softwares that Enscape works on, SketchUp, Revit, Rhino, ArchiCAD, Vectorworks, I think that's it, right? So no additional software installation is needed and works with whichever the choice of 3D modeling software you have. So why not give it a try? Just be sure to install and make sure that you have Enscape 4.1 or 4.2 and let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time.